All right, so last video from uh, from uh, Friday. I, th I think it'll actually come out after this one. I might have started off saying it was going to be a book review, but it turned out to be talking more about American Fathers and the program uh, that I offer to help with coaching, especially for men and fathers. Women are welcome too. Um, now we're going to get into Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardone. I've got a couple books by Grant. Um, this is the first one that I've completed, and uh, I actually read this in 2017, and I, w I left my original hometown, Bakersfield, um, where I'm back at right now, and you know, I got out, I got away from everything, I was focused on you know, how I'm going to make money, um, work on my own time. I was doing Uber driving out in San Diego, I was also a personal trainer at the time. I even made the decision originally, I didn't have... Money, I wasn't making enough money in Bakersfield, and I slept in my car for a couple of months um, in Uber driving all day, making cash, stayed positive. I was in the gym, um, eating healthy, and, and before I knew it, I got into a great apartment with a great roommate in Point Loma, the best part of San Diego, in my opinion. Um, got hooked up with a great spot and I got in the best shape of my life and um, then I faced a lot of big challenges after that to help me grow to continue to grow into the man I am today and so a big part of my you know my life and my interest is I've learned from Ty Lopez is to seek out mentors and you can find mentors even just through books so I've got a lot a big variety of books that um, in my library here and you know and this topic is going to be on personal development and positivity, hard work, and getting a perspective on, uh, from a man like Grant Cardone that's reached massive success. He's a family man. And so in this book, he tells this story of where, is it, where he comes from and some drug addiction he had early on as a young man. He lost his father at a young age, just like I did. I lost my father at 16, so I really related with him in his book. And, um, and he was realizing that he it was up to him to, to make something happen in his life. He had to make money. He wanted to take care of his mother and his family. And so he did that, and, and he really showed the example of the title of this book, Be Obsessed or Be Average. And so he was obsessed with being successful. He started off as a car salesman and just got better and better and better over time. Ended up buying a few units. Um, um, I think they were like, um, well, just rental units. I don't know if they started off as multifamily or not, and, and I'm not ex really experienced in that field, but he tells a story of how he started off with, I think, maybe six or nine units or something and, and built, his up, built his way up to where he is at today, and I think he's got probably thousands upon thousands, um, and he's, he's built a really great, wealthy life for himself and his family, and he's a great father. He's got a few daughters and his wife. He's teaching them. Um, to be leaders and, and it's really incredible watching them grow and so I've got a few other books by him I'll do some reviews on too I've not completed reading them sell or be sold and the 10x rule um, but this book really helped me when I showed up in San Diego I, I read it once and then almost a second time when I got out there I didn't even have anywhere to live and I was just sitting on the beach reading this rather than wasting my time anywhere else and it was kind of cool I, I i think i shared it on an old instagram i had at the time and grant interacted with that that was cool to me and so when i went through this like removal process in my life even down to just being homeless and sleeping in my car it was not really terrible in fact it was some of the best days i've ever had because it was just so simple and so clear i was only handling a few different things a few different tasks and when i did that i quickly found success and I was able to really soak in stories like this um, and you know this is almost along the lines of a biography or an autobiography which really helps to get other people's stories and it shows you where they come from and how they found success it's it gives a lot of um, motivation and, and help with inner belief that we can do it for ourselves as well even by ourselves without handouts and um, and when I showed up in San Diego as well, um, Ty Lopez was out there, and you know these guys are kind of connected with each other. They're friends, and um, I even I saw Ty Lopez driving right next to me in that old uh, um, orange Lamborghini Aventador. Him and his girlfriend at the time it drove right next to me, and it was just a big fan. It was really cool, and to notice when I had was bringing that energy out of, into my life, removing a bunch of other stuff out of it. Um, it was just like it was almost magical in a sense that 
I was like really almost brushing shoulders with some of these guys just being right in the area, that, that, which was a really profound part of it, you know, and you can actually see these people literally drive right by you. Um, and in my life, that's happened a few times. I've, and I've told the story about how I went to Victory MMA. I, I was watching Joe Rogan's podcast, Joe Rogan Experience. I, the first time I saw Jocko Willing pop up on there, he's talking about jiu-jitsu and a whole lot of other leadership principles. Like I just explained the leadership strategy and tactics book review. Come to find out he's like two blocks away from me, less than a five-minute drive from my house. Um, immediately went and signed up. Even though it was like 100 bucks a month, um, to me that was just highly valuable to get in there. And um, I met Jocko like the first day I signed up in there, you know. And being around these people, you never want to bug bug them, um, bother them, or it's not really just about being around them. But I just so happened to be that close and I was able to say hi to him, shake his hand that day. And then I met and was around mostly just the coaches after that. Rolling in there on the no gi and the gi classes was really cool, really fun. And so, also being in San Diego, um, know some of my story. I've uh, in 2022 and and a lot of 2023 this year, I was able to be around Wes Watson. He was at a gym that I had already previously had signed up to before. I knew right how to get over there, get signed back up when I discovered his uh, YouTube channel and and his. Um, his stories he's sharing on Instagram every day. I was able to go sign up at the same gym as him and, and just kind of be in the atmosphere. And I, I took the initiative to get up at 2.45 every day also and show up at the gym at 4 a.m. every day of the week and see those cars pull up and drive by me. You know, And he's, he's had several since then and replaced many of them. And he's got probably over 10 exotic cars now. So I was, the first time I was seeing the Rolls Royce calling in the Phantom, the Ghost, the um, the Ferrari, uh, I don't know if it was called the, um, it's got the SF90 now, but the one before that was pretty sick too, F18 or something, F18 is a, what is it called, F8, um, and uh, what else, uh, Lamborghini Huracan, Lamborghini uh, Ventador, the SVJ, um, fuck, the Mercedes Brabus, um, Lamborghini Urus. I mean, see, he was pulling up in those every day. I never bothered him there. The first day I went there, I met him. I had I, I took the initiative to buy his book, walked up to him, asked him to sign it respectfully. He did. It was so cool. Posted me on his Instagram, and I was like 150 pounds when I showed up. And I just showed up every day, kept to myself, and sometimes he just said, hi, what's up? You know, I met so many other great people there and started getting in touch with all the other coaches he was working with. I bought his program. And so just the magic of like really just focusing on one thing, removing other stuff out of my life, I was actually able to meet some of my heroes in my life or somehow brush shoulders with them, kind of get into their world a little bit without being intrusive. You know, Wes Watson was probably the closest one I was around. So I saw him at the gym every day, and, um, and then I got into the program. I went to one of the masterminds, one of the sickest experiences ever, just personally developing um, through in-person learning and coaching directly from the man with the other coaches there on the tennis court, getting us comfortable with telling our story on camera. Um, just this really, really sick experience, and it's a lot of it began with my decision to go on my own, to break away from being attached or codependent on any other, you know, kind of worthless friendships. Not all of my friendships were worthless. I'm still friends with a lot of my old buddies, you know, but I just kept to myself. I went and did something else. I focused on people who are doing things, doing bigger things in life and was able to get massive returns out of that just internally. And, and so, and I'm, you know, on my way up to learning how to make money from these guys not something I teach uh, because I haven't really done a lot of it yet so um, that's still a part of my journey you get to follow with me here um, and so I, I really recommend Grant's book it's just a, a life changer it's a big part of pushing me on the way to, to continue to believe in myself to see what I had to do full of good quotes in here numbers don't lie people lie get obsessed with show me don't tell me um, Reward those who achieve and penalize those who don't. If you are not obsessed with closing the deal, you won't. Demand that sales quotas be met by holding yourself and your people accountable. Accountability 
And then this is Grant's world in here in this book. And this is certainly a person to learn from. I still really like the guy. And um, I'll continue on with some more of his work again soon. So thanks for stopping in. Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardone.